Do I sound okay? Do I look okay? Yep, you look fine. All right. Uh, could you please tell us the story about how evil spirits are always watching? When I was 10 years old, I got into a verbal altercation with my sister. Being the oldest daughter in the family, I've always felt like my parents cared less about me and never sided with me. That evening, after the fight with my sister, my parents started yelling at me saying I should have been better because I'm the oldest. They blamed me and I got punished. I felt so angry and worthless. I decided to take my own life. I went into my parents' medicine drawer and found a bottle of exergen pills. I don't recall how many pills were in there, but I consumed whatever was in there. Approximately 30 minutes later, I began to feel different. My body became weak. I felt dizzy, as if the world was spinning. My stomach felt as if it just flipped inside and out, and I just wanted to vomit. I started to hallucinate and was seeing things that weren't there. I saw a huge spider crawling on my hand, so I swung my hand to try to get it off. I asked my sister if she saw the spider on me, and she replied she did not. I began to think, do I really want to die like this? I was afraid. I realized what I've done, and I did not want to die. So I told my sister what I did and just directed her to go inform my parents. My dad came to me and asked me if it was true what my sister said, and I confirmed. He was furious as to why I was so stupid to do something like that. He quickly mixed me some monosodium glutamate, also known as MSG, and made me drink it. Elders believe drinking MSG will help force you to regurgitate and remove toxic inside your stomach. Oh, and trust me, that stuff was disgusting, and I did throw up. I drank about two full cups of it and was throwing up for about 30 minutes. After my dad felt that I threw up enough, he had me stop drinking the MSG. I did feel a little better, but my head was still spinning and my body was very weak. That night, I went to sleep. I shared a room with, with my sister. It was approximately 12 o'clock at night. As I attempted to get some sleep, I could hear footsteps walking back and forth around me. Then I started hearing whispering but I could not make out what it was saying. I could see shadows moving back and forth in my room and what appears to be more than one shadow. I closed my eyes and pulled my blanket over my head, but it only made it worse as if I felt whatever it was was now hovering over me and the whispers became louder. I tried to kick one of my sisters, but she would not move as if a spell was casted over her. I was afraid to take the blanket off me, yet was even more scared with the blanket on me. The footsteps continued to pace back and forth around me as I sp swept profusely under my blanket. Suddenly, I felt the blanket slowly being pulled off me. I quickly grabbed it and began to fight with whatever was trying to pull my blanket off of me. I could hear whispering and light laughter as if this tug of war was so hilarious to them. Then I hear what appears to be something like, I shut my eyes tightly and as I do, I see a face, a face that would traumatize me for the rest of my life. Her face was dark. I can't tell if she had any discoloration on her face. It was just dark. She smiled at me with the widest smile that is so unhuman-like. Her smile stretches from ear to ear and the whites of her eyes along with her dark pupil bulging out with strands of dark hair covering her face. I was so scared that I soiled myself. I wanted to remove the blanket off my face, but I couldn't face what I would see when I opened. I continued to hold on tightly to my blanket and felt as if I was losing my breath under the blanket. I squeezed my eyes shut even tighter to try to get rid of the face out of my mind. 
It was at this time that my dad's work alarm sounded and I could hear the silence in the room and the shadows or whatever it was had left. My dad's alarm usually goes off around 4 a.m. I knew I had fought whatever it was all night. I can't remember how long I held and stayed under my blanket before falling asleep. When I woke up, I told my mom about what happened to me. My mom told me that those spirits knew what I did and were waiting to take me. They were waiting for me to die so that my spirit can go with them. She told me, evil spirits can't wait for a person to take their own life so that the person can replace them in the spirit world in order for those spirits to move on. She told me heaven won't take people who take their own lives so they are left in the forgotten world until they are able to find a replacement. That night, those spirits were waiting for me to die so that I could take their spot. Therefore, that is why I experienced this, those supernatural ex events. I hope this story scared a few of you as well as understand how important your life is and to never try to hurt or remove yourself from this world. Evil spirits are always watching. <laughs>